What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a video about the brand new Mythic Path quest for the Devil in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, which was a relatively recent addition. Via a patch that dropped alongside the game's last DLC, A Dance of Masks. Now to give a little bit of context to all that, the Devil is one of the late game Mythic Paths, which means you can't pick it until much later, and the Devil in particular is actually a bit harder to unlock than many of the others because it is the latest in the game you could possibly pick. And in order to even have a chance at it, you have to have previously picked Aeon or Azada, both of which come into contact with the Devil Mephistopheles. And depending on the choices you made in those individual Mythic Paths, you had the potential to take the Devil Mythic Path much, much later via some different events, of course, unique to each. But unfortunately, upon the launch of the game, despite discovering that secret and everything and posting even how to unlock it myself, you were shortly thereafter met with the realization that content-wise, the devil has very little going on, or at least it did. You would only make some choices in your war room in relation to the nation that worships Asmodeus, and finishing that just required waiting for a period of time to pass where you've made all the choices, and then right after that you would ascend to your full devil transformation and that was pretty much the end of the line for you. Obviously, the Mythic Path has its own unique ending slide, but otherwise it was a tad bit underwhelming. But, of course, here comes our brand new Mythic Path quest that sees us in appropriate fashion, corrupting none other than Valiant Paladin Queen Galfrey. The very same person who first gave us our power as the Knight Commander in this adventure anyway. So obviously, that's a bit of a lofty goal. So how do we actually trigger this quest? Well, to start with, you have to have cleared the City of Is, which is a very late game area, and obviously this is all happening in Act 5 anyway. But the reason you need to do this is because when you start Act 5, Queen Galfrey is tied up in the City of Is, handling crusade business, and you can't very well corrupt her without going to rescue her first. So essentially, she needs to survive the attack on Is, which will then put her back into Dresden, our main base of operations, at which point Point, shortly after, we'll be granted an audience with Mephistopheles in the commander's room, where he informs us that none other than Asmodeus himself has a mission for you, that mission of course being to corrupt Queen Galfrey. Now in order to do this, we have to lay a bit of a trap. You see, Galfrey has been leading the Crusades for an extremely long time, and has seen more than her fair share of harrowing events. And most recently, she launched a somewhat doomed campaign on the city of Is that saw a whole bunch of soldiers killed. And as a devil, we can sort of play on that, offering her the opportunity to avenge these fallen soldiers by leading them on a hunt against a demon who was targeted by Mephistopheles for exactly this purpose. But she's already a bit uneasy because she allowed her own self-doubt about our position as Knight Commander and her jealousy of it to get under her skin, which led her to that doomed assault on Is that would have ended in terrible defeat had we not shown up. And the initial conversation here is going to, of course, reflect that. But we can lure her into a situation where you can reaffirm your oath to serving the queen in front of all the troops, but obviously this is going to be done during the hunt on that demon we just mentioned, where things could, say, not go quite as well as planned. But to get the ball rolling, you're instructed to give the order to march out for this to her newly acquired squire, Leia, who's excited to, of course, be serving Queen Galfrey. But let's be real, it's probably not going to end so well. But here's where I've got to tell you a bit of a strange bug I noticed with this quest. In fact, a pretty egregious one. So it would seem that if you are an Azada or an Aeon, you can actually access the location on the map where this quest is supposed to take place, even if you don't actually go with the Devil Mythic Path. And while I could not complete the quest this way as a different Mythic Path, it let me do basically all of it which clearly wasn't supposed to be happening. But in any event, after we've got all that set up, we're going to meet Queen Galfrey and Mephistopheles at a location called A Trap for the Queen to the south of Dresden. Here, we're going to coordinate with Mephistopheles and some servants of his 
who were going to make sure that Queen Galfrey bit off a little more than she could chew here in terms of hunting for this demon. And having gone around the back to set up an ambush, we wait just long enough for things to become a problem, causing Galfrey to lose even more face in front of her crusaders while you swoop in to save the day yet again. At which point, even as you reaffirm your oath to Galfrey, the whispering of soldiers is going to start turning against her, with many of them loudly proclaiming how you should be renamed the one true leader of the crusade. But we're not done yet, because upon returning to Dresden from this disaster, we can learn that people are in fact starting to slander the queen, calling for you to replace her, etc., and you can ever so subtly suggest that maybe she should have these people arrested before things turn into full-on mutiny. And ultimately, she'll give you the order to tell her squire Leia to make the arrangements for these arrests. But we can make this a little bit worse, because when talking to Leia, we can instead say that the queen is doing this because she's hurt about her position, and these rumors are rubbing salt in her wounds, as an example. And when Leia suggests, at the very least, you send experienced soldiers to go handle this situation, that you instead send green recruits who have no business arresting people for this kind of thing which her personal squire here, Leia, will obviously say is a terribly wrong thing to do, coming from Galfrey, that is, but goes about her duty following up on the demands of the queen. And from here, we just have to wait for things to play out, which goes about as well as you would probably expect, with the situation effectively turning into a riot, with people calling for the queen's ouster. Queen Galfrey, at this point extremely shaken and upset, can be pushed a little bit farther by us choosing to charm her squire, Leia, into joining the revolt against her as well, which pushes Galfrey over the edge, and she can easily be convinced to cut down her squire, Leia. This one specific act actually robs Queen Galfrey of her goddess, Iomede's favor, at which point a heavenly host will descend, claiming that they need to take Galfrey away so she can be put into seclusion before she loses her grip on what it is to be a paladin, and you can of course continue to push her in the direction that this is more of an arrest, obviously, than any great help to her specifically, and that how Iomade has obviously betrayed her at this point, and this can push Queen Galfrey to straight up fighting these angels, which fully and completely pushes Queen Galfrey over the edge to corruption at which point you can finally offer your contract for her to sign a deal with the proverbial devil, granting her power, of course, in exchange for her soul and service to hell, thus completing your mission for Asmodeus. Mephistopheles rightly points out that you are yourself likely being played in some grander scheme, as is the nature of hell, but that otherwise Asmodeus is pleased things have gone how he wanted. You can speculate a little on the exact nature of this test and its purpose, and ultimately you are rewarded with a book. But not just any book, one of the special books you can read to gain knowledge from. If you're unaware, there are actually books throughout the game that are highlighted with a gold circle behind them that denotes them as an item of interest, and if you read those books, you will typically get a small bonus of some sort to your character, with most of these being very, very minor bonuses in very specific situations. But this particular book, Power Over Law, written by Mephistopheles, grants us a very specific mythic path power. So one of the devil mythic path's abilities is called Hell's Decree, which will, of course, let you activate a bunch of different decrees or effects that go into place over the battlefield. This one is an extremely strong AoE, that has the potential to trigger twice if the target fails a save that will knock them prone and damage enemies around them as well. So it's a very strong ability, which adds a little bit of flavor to the mythic path beyond just this quest, which I thought was pretty neat. But believe it or not, you're not actually done yet if you don't want to be. If you talk to Queen Galfrey after this is all said and done, you can, of course, get her perspective on this. And it offers the opportunity to, uh, let's say, romance, but I certainly wouldn't call it romance exactly, Queen Galfrey. But much more broadly speaking, in terms of thoughts and opinions on this one, I would say that overall I think this is a cool addition. For people who happen to pick up the game and wind up going the Devil Mythic Path route, 
I think this will add a bit of satisfactory content and a unique thing that that path can do that nobody else can. Now, I will say that I do kind of wish this caused Queen Galfrey to join your party in some way, but it doesn't. I think it would have made a lot of sense to just, you know, have her as a sort of minion at that point. But barring that one interaction, I think it's a great little quest. Now, the real issue here is just the simple fact that I don't think a lot of people are ever going to see this for themselves, which is kind of probably why you're watching a video like this about it instead. Though, truth be told, I'm not really expecting this video to do all that crazy well anyway, with how hidden that mythic path is to begin with. But in any event, it was nice to see this underserved mythic path improved a bit, with a cool quest and reward to go with it. But it's not the only mythic path that was a tiny bit underwhelming. The other one that is often mentioned in that regard is Gold Dragon, and rumor is they might do something similar with that in the future. But as for right now, that's pretty much all I've got for you. So I certainly hope you enjoyed this video and this look at the revised Devil Mythic Path. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. I should be wrapping up my big sort of Pathfinder splurge of content following the release of its final DLC all this week. So there's a few more things going on. It's going to be another very Wrath of the Righteous focused time. But that is pretty much going to do it for today. So truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.